our favorite Mexican restaurant in town and we are visiting them the first time since the pandemic very excited they are promoting hot chocolate and chocolate cakes the place looks the same but but can see that the wait staff has changed the menu is about the same as earlier essentially the same set of meat preps which go in as a filling into burritos enchiladas tacos etc we ordered a set of nachos and enchiladas with carnitas one set of enchiladas with chicken tinga and two sets of tacos with beef and fish these are their version of nachos these are with pork carnitas Pardon the noisy uh, neighbors. Two tables away. Carnitas are slow cooked and pulled pork. Usually, delightful to eat. Let's get some lime on this. Take a loaded chip. get some sour cream let's seek out some meat now hey these are not carnitas at all Let's pick another set. One would expect the one would expect the cheese there to be on top of the other toppings, above the beans, above the pork. That's not the case. Hopefully, they have not lost the plot completely. We have been to Chinita's a bunch of times. We actually had been here when they opened first, quite a few years ago. Some things have changed. For example, the nachos are a little bland. It could do with a little bit of garnishing. Could do with a little bit of Mexican kick to it. The pork is completely bland. Low on seasoning as well. I'll get to what each of those things are. That's grilled fish uh, tacos, soft as they should be. There's a little bit of a side of chips there, some lime, and there's grilled beef. We'll see how the lips are shortly. That's what they look like. That's what they look like. That's grilled beef. Again, there is fish, and the other thing which has arrived, perhaps a little early, is enchiladas. A little bit of odd in terms of serving. I don't know how much of the oven this is seen. The cheese is not really molten. There is supposed to be chicken tinga. This is whatever cheese. What? What is this? These guys have forgotten how to make pico de gallo. Can jalapenos rescue this one? Let's try. Let's 
check these out. Fish looks like if I can if I can find some fish. It's kind of like there. More veggies now than the amount of fish. Colorful, sure. The other thing that you might have noticed with this food, there's a Mexican place. There's no salsa. Not even the sides, there's some chips there, some lime, some jalapenos, but there's no salsa. It's kind of odd, wouldn't you think? I took a large bite. This is most ordinary. The tortillas are not warm. It's just been done in a cold tortilla. Not done. The taste, completely ordinary. Nothing Mexican about it except the corn tortillas. Maybe the place, place has seen better times. It's chipped plates. See that? When we ask the server about the non-molten cheese, he says their cheese doesn't melt. And if you heat it too much, then the food below in there that's gonna get burned so you know the cheese that they're using is kind of whatever might have come out from an amul can yeah this this ain't done this meal continues to get sadder and sadder this actually might be amul cheese it does taste like that These are carnitas and that's the fish. Anyway, let's let's try some of this so-called enchiladas with amul whatever cheese, no salsa on the plate. This stuff inside is not gooey, it is dry. Chinitas has gone to shit. And there's onions on top. I don't know. Maybe they were trying they were trying to create an create a salad from a dava. You know completely unfathomable how other reviewers orgasm about chinita. Either they get bribed or they have no sense of Mexican food at all. Subscribe if you want to see more unbiased food reviews. We review as it really is, without hidden sponsorships or making everything look artificially nice. This is the pork carnitas, but then because I they had some pork carnitas with the nachos, I'm assuming this is going to be completely tasteless and bland. The pork is bland. So if there are two types of cuisine that I crave while being in India. One is Mexican and Chinitas is not. Completely not. If you are thinking of eating Mexican in Bangalore, don't come to Chinitas. With the disappointment of the pork carnitas, let's try the chicken tinga a bit. Just straight out of the casserole.
as bad. I don't know if this has gone through an oven. Really. The sauce doesn't taste as if it has. The cheese is non-molten. It tastes like a generic whatever sauce. Zero Mexican spices. It has an Indian taste. So I tried a bit of the beef tacos. The beef is tough. It's chewy. I mean, it doesn't melt in your mouth for sure. I mean, you've got to keep chewing it for a while. It tastes more like buffalo meat than beef, really. That's bad. It's just bad. So for this rubbish meal, we are ending up paying a little more than 2,000 rupees. If, again, if you are wanting to eat Mexican, please do not come to Chinita.